Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday Fragrance Review Day, and I hope you guys are ready for this one. Sorry it's going to be a late upload, but I did have to work late tonight, so that's why I am filming this video quite late, but I wanted to make sure I was able to get this up instead of having to postpone it for Saturday. That's why I am up and filming it now after work. Alright guys, so the fragrance we are going to be reviewing today is a fragrance I've been wearing all last week and I absolutely loved it. It was absolutely amazing. This is probably one of her best fragrances in my opinion. The longevity is amazing on it. The fragrance itself is absolutely stunning. I love this. Um, it's probably one of her best in my opinion. I have three of hers, but I think this one is definitely one of her best. Alright guys, so this fragrance review is going to be on none other than the Paris Hilton line the signature Paris Hilton. So as you can see, I have this little lotion that I got. I got this from Marshalls. It was um, a full set, but it had, somebody had ripped off the stuff. So somebody stole stuff, but they still had the lotion and I was able to acquire it for $6 at Marshalls and absolutely love it. And the other thing that I bought, I bought with this at Marshalls as well too, before I bought the perfume, which I will show you next, is I bought the body mist because I wanted to see how this was going to smell before I decided to purchase the fragrance mist and I must tell you I am absolutely in love with this I'm not disappointed in it it's a beautiful fragrance and I'm happy to have all the things that I have in it but this is the full-size Paris Hilton signature fragrance from Paris Hilton guys and I absolutely love this this is a fragrance that my um, stepmom my my um, dad's wife would wear a lot and I do like this fragrance a lot too I actually used to ask her a lot hey what are you wearing and she would tell me that it's the signature Paris Hilton and I had to get some of this I love it and the spray on it is beautiful it's just an amazing fragrance guys if you haven't tried this fragrance I highly recommend the Paris Hilton signature Paris Hilton I know a lot of people don't like celebrity fragrances I can't say I don't like celebrity fragrances because I do have a lot of celebrity fragrances in my collection and this one is a beautiful fragrance. If you guys have not tried it, I highly recommend this fragrance. So um, this is the bottle. I'm going to show you guys if I can, as well as I can, what I've used in the week. So if you look right here, you can see that's what I've used in the entire week of this one. I also used the perfume to spray before I went to work. So. You can see with the week's use, I still haven't used a whole lot of this because it didn't take a whole lot and this would stay on your skin and on your clothes for, I would say, if you spray this on the clothes, it would stay on your clothes for a long time. I would say like six, seven hours before you would lose the scent just with the, um, the fragrance mist and layering it with the, um, perfume definitely intensified the scent that would stay on too with the body with the body cream the fragrance mist and the perfume layered on your clothes you could get this through an entire work shift eight plus hours to sing as beast mode performer so you saw that I'm gonna show you guys the other item that I have here this is what I bought after I bought the body mist um, from Marshall's because I absolutely fell in love with this so this is the box for the 3.4 ounce Paris Hilton Eau de Parfum. And I bought this off, I think, Fragrance Net, and it was really cheap. It was about 20 bucks. So that's what this one looks like. And then this is what the perfume look, it looks like itself. And I absolutely love this fragrance. Again, here you go. I would spray this before I went to work. So just to put the stuff on my clothes as well as on my skin to help the body spray lasts a little bit longer but this is what I would use and the longevity and the performance of this is absolutely a one all the way guys so you guys can see that I have got quite a collection of the Paris Hilton Paris Hilton signature stuff so that's that on that that's the items that I have in it I will hold the perfume bottle right here while I read you guys the notes so I can tell you what are in the fragrance. Okay. Hi, baby. Vanessa's over here, too, waiting for her appearance because she helps me out with the fragrances. So she's right here. All right. So here's the bottle. 
So the fragrance notes on this are top notes of melon, peach, and apple. Middle notes are mimosa, tuberose, lily, freesia, jasmine, lily of the valley. Base notes are sandalwood, musk, oak musk, lang lang. And those are the, all the fragrances, all the notes in this fragrance. And this is an absolutely beautiful fragrance. I love it a lot. I think actually, I'm going to wear this for bed tonight. I think this fragrance is super sexy too. It just makes me smell good. It makes me feel good and makes me smell good. Oh, it's everything that I always want in a fragrance. This has got it. All right. So those are the notes for the Paris Hilton Signature um, fragrance. Um, best seasons to wear this fragrance. I think this fragrance is best suited for more of the warmer months because this fragrance, it's very, very strong, but I don't think it would be offensive. I mean, I think you could wear this spring, summer, maybe a little bit into fall if you wanted to. I know a lot of people make it their signature scent, so maybe that's best for everybody, I guess. All four seasons, you know, fall, winter, spring, summer whatever you think this is definitely a good fragrance and I will not argue with that so that's what I feel as far as seasons for this fragrance all four seasons it's a good one um, fragrance lasting hours on this is actually quite good like I was saying um, with the body mist sprayed onto clothes you can get about four hours longevity with it I think with the body mist and the perfume combined on the clothes and on the skin you can get anywhere from six to Possibly even nine hours of performance with this this fragrance. It's pretty good, guys. I highly recommend this. If you haven't tried it, go on um, FragranceNet and blind buy this. It's actually a really nice perfume, and I don't think that you would um, not like it if you blind bought it. It's a pretty safe one. Um, fragrance Projection. This one is actually, it's not heavy to, it's going to be nauseating to anybody, but it is definitely more of the moderate moderate projection so it will come off your skin you will have a little bit of a central behind you but it's not going to be something that's going to kick up anybody's allergies it's not going to offend anybody I don't feel like it would but it is a really nice fragrance so if you want something that's long lasting but not too much I think this one would definitely help you out with that um best time to wear this fragrance guys this fragrance I put on the car daytime but this fragrance is so good Daytime, nighttime, weddings, um, any kind of occasion, like time for your girls or something like that, Thanksgiving, anything that's like clubbing. If you're going to go to a club, this is definitely a good fragrance to wear for that too. It's a, I think it's an all-around crowd pleaser fragrance in my opinion. It's pretty good. I like it a lot. I'm actually extremely happy to have this in my collection. And I think... Even after I run out of some of this stuff, I will definitely repurchase this fragrance. This fragrance will definitely be a fragrance that I keep in my collection and will continue to repurchase because it's just that good, guys. Now, if you don't mind the fact that it's got Paris Hilton on it, that's cool. Um, that's a good thing. It doesn't for me, like I said though, I like celebrity fragrances, so I don't really care if it's priority or if it's um, <sighs> Paris Hilton. Sorry, guys, I'm still tired. I don't care if it's Paris Hilton, I don't care if it's Mariah Carey, I don't care if it's J-Lo, I don't care if it's Beyonce, I don't care if I like a fragrance, I'm going to rock it. It doesn't matter who made it, the only thing that care I care about is longevity, performance, and scent. That's all that I want out of a fragrance. I get those things and I'm going to buy it. Alright guys, so that is my review for the Paris Hilton, Paris, uh, Paris Hilton Signature um, Fragrance. As far as the packaging for it, I'm going to be giving it a 10 out of 10 for the packaging. I love the packaging. I love the pink and the like black lines around. I think it looks very nice. It's a very sleek, very classy looking. So 10 out of 10 for uh, 10 out of 10 for packaging. As far as performance, longevity, scent, 10 out of 10 for that too because I absolutely love it. It is a beautiful fragrance, guys, and I highly recommend grabbing it. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is going to pick out the next week's fragrance, and I will need my helper for this, so um, if she can hear me, Vanessa, I need you. She's the one that likes to help me out with my cards for next week's fragrance review. All right. You know what time it is. 
Okay. What are we going to grab? Okay, guys, look at this. Still, the unending plethora of cards that we have here, of fragrances I have not reviewed yet. This is why I have so many of these. I have a very huge <laughs> perfume collection, guys. This is why I have so many of these. So now, we are going to have my beautiful daughter help us pick out next week's fragrance. I swear, I'm going to... I'm going to like lose these. I'm going to drop all of them one night. I swear I can't. I can just predict that. I'm going to drop all these cards and then have a fun time picking them all up. Okay. <laughs> all right. Go ahead, Vanessa. Pick from another side. You always pick from the middle. Okay. Go on. There you go. Thank you. All right. And now. Okay. So the next week's fragrance review we will be doing on Friday night. If it's not too late, guys, with me having to close again, we'll see. <laughs> so which one are we going to do next week? Read it. Okay. Yes, you can. You can read it. What's it called? I can't even really tell. It's CK1 Into You. So this is a fragrance from Calvin Klein, guys. I do have a replica fragrance for this. And it smells exactly like the authentic brand. So I will show that to you during the fragrance review. I will show you guys the authentic one, which is this one right here. And I will show you the knockoff one. So if you guys are curious what those two look like, stay tuned for next week. I will catch you guys later. Bye.